by Maverick. Well, you know, here at the Straight Talk Express, at John McCain's campaign, we're all a bunch of mavericky mavericks. Sometimes we don't do exactly what the establishment wants us to do, exactly what the party wants us to do. You know, we sometimes disagree with members of our own party, and the party disagrees with people like us because we're mavericky mavericks or mavericks who are mavericky also. But you know, I think that being a maverick means that you're not afraid to do what's a little different and maybe you don't answer the questions the way the moderator or your opponent wants you to. Hmm, that's very interesting. Back to energy, that's the topic you enjoy talking very much. What is your vision for America energy independence? Well, you know, I think that it has to be all about energy independence or independence in energy also. So, you know, I think we have to work to really dig into the resources that we have on our own shores. And I think that it's actually really shameful that our own opponents have opposed getting energy independence through these methods that are already available to us. I know John McCain is a big fan of nuclear energy, which I believe is a great way to get energy independence using nuclear energy also. And, you know, frankly, our opponents just haven't really done a lot saying stuff about energy independence. So. I think that we've done a really good job here of diagnosing the problems that we have, getting our energy from countries that don't like us very much, and we're addressing those as our campaign goes forward. What do you think about global warming? Well, you know, global warming, I think, could just be a natural plan for the end of our days, but we might as well uh, work on it a little bit anyway, and I think that we can conserve a little bit in some areas, especially like in government spending. John McCain and I are all about conserving in areas of government spending so that we can give back more to our working class Americans who have worked so hard to provide the working class for America. So I want to conserve in areas of spending and government and really give back, like I did when I was mayor of Wasilla. How do you balance not increase taxes, but reduce our deficit? Do you know the number of deficit has reached? Well, you know, I think that it has to really be, as I said, all about conserving and reducing government spending. You know, we can really find a lot to conserve on in many areas of government also. So we can cut back on programs that are not necessary, that are not serving our country best. As John McCain and I like to say, country first. So we will cut back mercilessly on anything that does not serve. Like education? Well, you know, I think that in all areas of education, there's something that we can cut. It's just not necessary. Like, I don't know, pre-algebra, that's not exactly necessary. I didn't learn it when I was a little uh, high schooler in Wasilla, so I don't see there's any reason for anyone else to learn it. We can cut back on that. Like health care for children? Health care for children? Well, you know, I think that John McCain's health care plan, which includes a tax credit through taxing people who already have health care, will really help some of those families who are struggling a little bit in that aspect. Do you think we can trust the family? Always think to allocate the money for the children's health care? What happens if they have many other needs and then they neglect or they have no other money? to spend on health care and then the children end up not having health care. Don't you think that would happen? Well, I think that health care is very important, meaning that there's a lot of importance in health care also. And I think that our average working class American can tell you about the importance of health care. You know, when when I was young, our family didn't always have health care, you know, consistently. Well, actually, maybe we did, but my records aren't very clear on that, so let me get back to you on that one. But also, you know, I think health care is an important issue. So here at the McCain 
area, we are all a bunch of mavericky mavericks, and we're willing to do whatever mavericky mavericky move necessary to improve health care. Hmm, what do you think about, um, uh, cutting taxes, uh, for average Americans? Well, you know, I think that cutting taxes for the average American, the hockey moms and PTA members and small town mayors, is really going to help out in the long term in many different ways, you know. I think that cutting taxes will really have a great effect on sort of jump-starting our economy so that small businesses can really take off. And I'm really horrified that my opponent, um, Barack Obama and his running mate, Joe Biden, are saying that paying more taxes is patriotic. You know, I don't think so. When I was little, we knew that it was patriotic to tell the government to stay out of our business. As a governor, what do you bring to the table to be a vice president? You know, as a governor, I've gotten a lot of experience in foreign policy because I was a... We have a very narrow maritime border with Russia also, so I'm also very good with, like, energy, and being a governor really gives you a lot of experience in governing. So governing gives you experience in being a governor, which in turn helps me fit the role of vice president. You have been found kind of broke the ethic rules or ethic code of conduct by firing this guy you know of, right? How do you respond to people? You know, I knew that this was just a partisan attack crafted by my partisan yeah, opponent. but excuse me, but this, good, I mean, there were like uh, eight Republican and four a Democrat in this committee. How could you call that partisan? You know, I'm very disappointed with the results that this committee has found. I believe that they are inaccurate, that my personal life did not come into play when I was governor and that I made every effort possible to be the best governor of this great state, Alaska. Do you think just a little bit personal? Influencer? You know, I don't like this gotcha journalism that tries to sort of corner you and it take your words out of context so that you say something that you really don't mean to say. So I would like to say to everyone, I really think that this is a partisan attack and that I just want to be washing my hands. Business. What do you think about your opponent, Obama? I think that Mr. Obama, I'm very disappointed that he found this country imperfect enough to be palling around with terrorists who actually bombed their own country. I'm very disappointed by his actions, his policies, and his decisions in many ways. And I think that the country will be worse in an Obama administration, without doubt, also. Have you ever met him? I have seen his photo. Do you believe he's a Muslim? Well, you know, I have a very strong Christian faith, and I can say with some certainty that I am sure that Mr. Obama practices a faith which is respectful, certainly of many different other religions, but I am not sure of his religion, to be perfectly honest. Were you surprised when you have been picked as a vice president? Was I surprised when I was picked as a vice president? Well, you know, I think that I was very overjoyed, and, you know, I was joyed very overly also. Were you frightened by it? Was I frightened? Well, you know, frightened is an interesting word. It can actually be separated into a word fright, and then you can take off end. So, you know, I think that that interesting word, I, I don't really want to use it right now. It's a little too interesting also. Do you think you have met the expectations of the Republican Party according to your performance? Have you been coached? Do I think I've met the expectations? Well, you know, I think that it's very important sometimes to stand up for what we believe in, and even if that means standing up to members of my own party, I've been acting like a mavericky maverick from the maverick place that's called McCain's campaign headquarters. So, you know, 
I, I don't know about expectations. I've certainly tried to do my best, which means doing the best, that best for myself and also for 